slingshot clean. So this is an advanced kettlebell move to practice for sure. Start your way off light. So make sure that you are not going super heavy in this movement. It's already an advanced movement that has high risk of low back um, pull because you are at risk of rotating your hips wide in this movement pattern, which is why we're gonna narrow off your stance to begin. So grab a light weight and let's practice. The slingshot itself is going to be a single arm swing, pass around and catch the bell, the bottom of the bell in your hand, rotate, swap sides every single time. If you've done, if you're doing the slingshot clean, you've probably done the slingshot many times, or else I would not be programming it for you anyways. If you are not a part of the intentional in this company and you are trying to figure out how to use kettlebells, go back and watch the original slingshot video before you practice the slingshot clean. So, stance. You don't want to think like your swing stance here. You want to bring it a little bit more narrow, about hip width apart, narrow deadlift stance. This is going to support you from having the hips rotate wide. You're going to have to sit straight back, engage the glutes, and pull back forward straight to the pubic bone. So, starting light, you're going to bring your bell around, and I'm going to show you what it looks like to transition into the clean rather than just the catch. So, first things first, you're going to be staying on one side for the entire round until you intentionally swap sides. One hand on your belt, you're going to hike back. One swing, just to begin, pull, swap sides, catch. Opposite hand is going to catch. Now we're going to go back around that same leg on repeat. Back behind the thigh, hip drive, catch. Back behind the thigh, hip drive, catch. So you'll see that I go on a diagonal fashion. I'm going to go behind the leg, all the way around my body, and into that opposite hand. You'll also notice this is one of the few times that I keep an open palm. This is because you're just transitioning so quickly into that clean position, right? You can close off at the top if that feels better for you. I always do before I transition back behind and then go in across your body. Being mindful that you're not moving your hips at all. It is a sit back, hinge, snap, come forward. Practice this movement, you guys. It is not as complex as you might think it is, but it's gonna take a little bit of practice to build up the confidence of physically pass, hand sneaks in and you land back into your lat. The other thing that I'll say to encourage you in this movement to save your shoulders and save you from the big bang from one side to the other is to keep your elbow glued to your rib cage. Don't let yourself come up as the bell comes up, try to catch out here and then drop in because that's when you're gonna get that big slam on your wrist. Try to keep it close in like I do here so that you can transition and the rest of your arm is stable. Armpit is glued down, elbows glued to the ribs and all you're doing is bringing that bell over and just opening your palm up to it, spearing your fingers through and then keeping it going. If you're doing your movement for around a certain amount of rounds, make sure you swap sides each time that you start your movement. Whatever side you start swinging on is a side that's gonna be catching the whole time. And if you're doing this for reps, make sure that you check and see if this is reps per side or reps total. If you need to swap at the top of your movement, make sure that you either set down and re-clean or you can always do a swing clean or swing switch and then you're gonna go right into your second side. That is your slingshot clean. Enjoy, practice, and most of all, be safe.